Hey dudes. So I've been meaning to make this video for a really long time now, but something would always come up, I'd get distracted, and then I'd end up not making this video. But I'm here today, it's happening. Okay, so let's begin. This is the return of Quentin, Quigley, Quincy, Kelly with a Q, and Dula Peep. So it's been almost three months now since their birth, and they've all grown considerably in size, and I can no longer tell them apart at all. The brown ones, forget it. Like, they're all the same. The gold ones, also no. I can kind of tell which one Quentin is because when you get really close, he cranes his neck up at you and looks at you with one eye. And then if you, like, take your finger and circle it above his head, he kind of spins in a circle. It's really cute. So I mentioned this a couple videos ago, but I'm gonna say it again. We're trying to bother them as little as possible, you know? Like, if you walk down the stairs, they can already hear you, and they get up and start running around, and it's just a party down there. Even cleaning the cage every morning is, like, a mess, you know, like you take them out and then they just start running around like it's freaking cross country. So for that reason, you know, I wasn't able to get much footage of them, but that's okay. I'd rather them be calm and quiet rather than all anxious and scared. Now, I do have some bad news, unfortunately. And this is the reason why I came to the conclusion that this video probably shouldn't take too long to come out. Darn it, my camera's about to die. Why does this always happen? Okay, I'll be right back. Where was I again? Oh, right. So it's with great sadness that I have to say that Kelly with a Q is no longer with us. Kelly passed away on May 13th and we don't know how it happened. We woke up one day, we went downstairs to clean the cage and yeah. I don't know if some of you guys remember this, but Kelly was the one that we had to help hatch out of her shell and that also developed like scissor beaks later in her life. So she was kind of from the get-go the weakest one of the bunch. We took her several times to the vet. They said she'd be fine. Obviously that wasn't the case. Yes, it was traumatic, okay? My mom cried. I almost did. It's kind of the reason why I've been holding off on making this video for a really long time because we just don't like to talk about it. But anyways, we buried her in our backyard. There's a little cross and everything. So yeah, Kelly will be missed. And I hope she's living it up in quail heaven right now. Now, as soon as Kelly died, we made sure to take the rest of the quails straight to the vet and you know, make sure that they were all fine and it wasn't some sort of viral infection. Uh, we cleaned the entire cage. We sterilized everything. We replaced all of, like the feeding equipment. We changed the box that they're in also. No, we don't really think that it was anything like Merrick's disease. If you guys know what that is, it's like a poultry disease. It's pretty common, mostly because we didn't see any sort of paralysis prior to her death which is a very common symptom of Merrick's disease. We also don't think it was quail disease, which is kind of like a digestive tract issue because her poops were normal and trust me, we know very well what her poops look like. So at the end of the day, it really just looks like Kelly kind of succumbed to a genetic condition. But other than that, you know, all the quails are healthy. Thank God, you know, knock on wood. We're cleaning their cages once, maybe even twice a day. Uh, we don't want them sitting in their poop at all. They're fed a game bird feed, so, you know, they're getting all of their necessary nutrients and things like that. The last thing I kind of want to talk about in this video, um, it's a little bit controversial, depending on your point of view. One thing that having a pet has really taught me, or opened my eyes to, is just how twisted the concept of having a pet is. Now, what I'm about to say is not me trying to shame anybody who has a pet, okay? Uh, it's my opinion. I'm not trying to force anybody to subscribe to my way of thinking. You know, this is all my conjecture. Take it or leave it. I don't care. Now, ever since I can remember, I've always wanted a pet. You know, especially being an only child, I've always bugged my parents to get a dog or some sort of animal, you know, just so that I could have a friend. <laughs> Around last October, when I decided to hatch the quails, I wanted to do it right. I didn't show this in the hatching video, but that video actually took like four months to make. You know, I was researching and planning a lot for that video. I was researching different sources and where to get my eggs and possible diseases and things like that, how to take care of them. Now, despite all of that, the morals of having a pet never really crossed my mind through that entire process. It was only after we hatched them, put them in the box, 
and that was it essentially, that I really realized, what have I done? I didn't really think about taking an animal away from its natural habitat and then keeping it in a box for my personal pleasure. You know, these little guys, they should just be running around in the wild, you know, chasing things, eating insects, whatever the hell they want to do. And now they're just confined to a box. And I hate that. <laughs> now point is, after these quails pass on, I am never gonna have a pet again. <laughs> Be it a dog, a cat, a parrot, I don't know. This isn't me going vegan, okay? Get off your high horse. All of that being said also, I am gonna take the best care of these animals right now, okay? Like, I don't care what anybody has to say. These, these, these dudes, they're my kids now. So I'm gonna give them the best life that they can possibly get from now on because I put them in this predicament. So the least I can do is make their lives enjoyable. Probably not going to film any more quail updates from now on, mostly because they've already reached their final size. You know, they've reached their final form. They're evolved. So nothing interesting is probably gonna happen anymore. But I also just wanna let them be, like I said before, we don't wanna bother them too much. If anything interesting happens, I'll let you all know. And if I do decide to make a fun video with them, I'll also let you guys know. I'm really sorry that this video is so late. It should have been posted like immediately after Kelly died. And you know, I'm aware of all the comments. I know, I see you guys asking for the quails and it's not me just, you know, I can't see it, so it must not be true. <laughs> so yeah, that's the whole quail thing. That's the whole story from beginning to end. Don't worry, there will still be a lighthearted video this week. I just needed to get this out and off of my chest. I'll be back soon with, you know, the regularly scheduled stupid crap. So anyways, that's it. Nothing much more to say. And I'll, I'll catch you on the flip side. Toodles!